What's happening, everybody? Oh, hope everybody had a good Christmas. So I don't normally do unboxing stuff, but I thought it would be a little something different. So here a while back, I ordered a Neotech top handle. It took forever to get. It's only drawback. Apparently the train that derailed, wherever it did, had something to do with it. I'm not sure if it's on the train or if that's just a uh, an excuse. So anyway, nice little tool kit. It's like they put all the screws and attachments, a little scratch, carb adjustments. It's like a chainsaw file. A couple of screws, I'm guessing it's for this dog that came with it. Y'all can see the dog. It's pretty pretty interesting. So come with a bar, a little scabbard, Neotech. And uh Indiana Doug, I think, is who, what side I, I went off of. I actually seen it posted. It's like a Christmas sale. 12 inch. Looks like a little mixing bottle. Like all these Chinese saws come with that funnel. It's good to have around used for something else. Chain. What kind of chain we got? Looks like a 3 8 Low Pro. A bag here. And yeah, not a bad looking little chain. It's got the double kickbacks on it. You can see it there. Decent looking little chain. So yeah, I was just curious about these saws. <coughs> Excuse me, I never had a Chinese branded or off branded saw of my own. I've built a few of them. I never actually had one. I thought this would be a good, a good saw to come. Looks like it comes with a little destruction manual. Not too bad, considering the price. I think this is around a hundred bucks. And what can you really expect for a hundred bucks? Is kind of way I looked at it. Pack fairly nice. Got a blemish out of the box right there on it, but I mean, you know, all in all, it's a, uh, there again, a uh, $100 chainsaw. It's got adjustable uh, um, oil adjuster on it. Plastics are kind of chintzy. I don't know, maybe it's just a different kind of plastic. I'm not sure if this is a the Neotech 2500. I think it's supposed to be like a 200T copy. Uh, I'm not even sure to be honest with you. Yeah, so I'm going to get it together. We'll fire it up. I'll bring you back to that after I put it together and put the bar and chain on it and the, the dog. On it. And uh, we'll see how she runs. All right, guys, we're back. So I guess this is more like the 2511. I'm guessing some sort of, um, you know, the, the China version of the 2511. So the specs on it, it's a 25.4 um, bore, two stroke. It says here, let's see, 25 to one. I don't run 25 to 1, I run 40 to 1, but I'm going to probably have to retune it or tune it anyway. <clears throat> I hadn't started yet. I put gas and oil in it, put the bar on it. It's so, odd. It's got like uh, Phillips screws in most of, the, most of the things, but it does have a couple of Allen, so it's kind of it's kind of odd. I assumed it would have Allen or Torx, um, some Torx variant, but apparently Phillips screws are cheaper, but there again, it's... Uh, <clears throat> it's a hundred dollar chainsaw so the little loop that uh, a climber would hook to i'm obviously not a climber it's pretty chintzy overall it seems to be kind of chintzy just to be perfectly honest just about all the screws were loose pretty loose actually considering um 
So yeah, so we'll uh, we'll start it up. I spilt stuff everywhere. The the fill hole on these things is super tiny. I have one of these. Well, I have a couple of them. The um, chainsaw jugs, but the the spout don't fit inside. So it's kind of it's kind of disappointing. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go uh, crank it and tune on it a little bit and run it and then we'll see uh see what it's like chain feels pretty sharp i'm not really gonna mess with it out of the box i might fool with it later yeah anyhow so i'll bring you back <clears throat> and we try to start it see how hard it is to start like i said i haven't primed it or anything it's got a primer bulb up here um that i did fuel it and oil it and uh we'll take our handy dandy Screw it. They give you some tools with it. It's kind of, it's kind of nice to have the tools to screw it for the Phillips. A couple of Allen wrenches. I really don't know what for, but you really don't have many Allens on it. Maybe if you tear it down. May end up building a saw. I don't know. We'll have to see. We'll have to see how big of a turd it is and then, then go from there. But there again, I'm not expecting much. It's a, you know, like I said, a hundred dollar chainsaw. But anyhow, we'll bring you back with that in, uh, here in a minute. All right, guys, so we're back with our little Neotech kind of review slash unboxing, whatever. So we're going to try to crank it. I'll tell you right now, this pull cord sucks, the handle. It's real sharp on the bottom, it cuts into your fingers. Alright. So... Don't even act like it's hit a lick. <clears throat> Not sure here. Uh, the chain's already loose. Alright. So, back to the bench. We'll see what's going on with it, and I'll bring it back when we get it to actually run. All right, so what I did was brought the saw back in the shop and pulled the plug to see if it's wet. Maybe I got to flood him in my fault. It was a little bit, but there's something in the plug. There's two pieces of something. I don't know if you can see that. I hadn't got them out yet. I just wanted to, to show you on film. I'm, I'm not sure. I hope that's not ring pieces. I mean, it's just a... I literally just took it out of the uh, out of the box, so I'm not really sure what that is. So I'll try to get them out, and we'll see. Try to see here what it is, because I'm curious as to what that is. Can get it out. Looks like carbon, but which is weird because this is a brand new saw. Shouldn't have any carbon in it. What it is, it's something. I want to get the airheads and blow it out.
Uh, I have no idea what it was. It was something. It came out when I blew it, but I, I couldn't catch it, so I, I don't have a clue what it was. But... I don't seem to be anything in there. Top of the piston looks good. It looks like there's been something smashed inside it. Um, it's hard to tell. Maybe it just got flooded. I don't know, which is entirely possible. So we'll reinstall the plug. I dried it off. It was, I mean, it wasn't what I'll call flooded, but it wasn't optimal neither. So it's definitely getting fuel. We'll check the spark on it here in a minute. If it don't, if it don't hit, well, the filters on this kind of chintzy. I don't know if the, what this model's modeled after. If a factory one could be, uh, you know, I don't know. There again, you, you got. I got to keep in mind. Um, I got to keep in mind what it is. Can't forget what it is. I mean, it's a, it's a hundred dollar chainsaw, so. And when it's all said and done, how uh, how upset am I gonna? How upset can I be about quality? Well, looks like the choke lever done came off. So yeah, so this is a I don't know. So far, I'm not too impressed. I'll be honest with you. Um, maybe. Uh, Maybe there's a trick to it. I just don't know that trick. If somebody knows the trick and has one of these saws, chime in. I, I would be uh, happy to know what to, what the secret is. So everything's extremely chintzy. Um, that's my word of the day. Uh, if y'all don't know what chintzy means, that's kind of cheap. Cheaply designed, cheaply made, but as I said before, I can't be too disappointed for a hundred dollar chainsaw. I mean, yeah, a hundred dollars is a lot of money, but um, this day and time for a chainsaw, it's it's really not a lot, especially a top handle. What well, would be nice if this could be made a you know, be good backup for a tree service? I don't know if I'd want it to be my everyday saw, just because of the things I've seen already. It's kind of kind of janky, but we'll see. See if I can get it to hit a lick in here. Oh, shit, I'm put it back on it. All right, that was unchoked. Let's try it now. It's good. I forgot to put the in my haste and talking and being distracted. I didn't put the filter back on. If you call this really a, a filter, it's kind of lacks a lot. Lacks a lot to be desired. I guess would be a be a good way to put it. So the fit and finish is not the best. But there again, you know, if it could be a, it'd be a good backup saw, I guess, you know, to a, a tree company, maybe, um, just to throw in their box, um, or if he was on a job site somewhere and uh, didn't want to hand a guy a, uh, yeah, that choke is just all, just weird. It's like something to get broke off real easy. But yeah, if you don't want to hand a guy that's not a lot of uh, experience uh, a saw to go use and potentially straight gas it or run it in the dirt, something like this would be better than, say, a, uh, a uh, six or $700 Husqvarna steel variant. 
or 2511 you know they're still about 500 bucks so but anyway so we're gonna go out here in the wood we'll test it, it needs to be tuned still and uh we'll see how she runs all right guys i'm gonna try this again so it seemed like just some technical difficulties here. We'll see how she'll run. again seems like that's gonna be a be a problem it's the second time it's been adjusted because you know new chains gonna stretch I get it but um, stretching that much is a little well you know quite a bit Give that a try. See if it'll start back up there. Uh oh. Hmm. Now the pull starts not engaging. At all. 
I don't know what happened there. So far, this thing's a turd. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't know. I guess I'll go back to the shop and try to figure out why the pull start's not engaging. Um, and then we'll go from there. Ah, back with the neotech. So I pulled the front cover off, um, inspected the pull start. It's kind of uh, there again. It's chintzy. Tighten some things up. See if that helps any. But it looks like the springs um, that throw these paws back and engage these paws are are just shot. I don't know if you can see that. Let me bring you in a little closer. <clears throat> you see what I'm talking about. If you see the, the little sp springs are just yeah, I don't know what happened. Um, that's one. This one. It seems to be wanting to work. Maybe it just needs to be rewound. Yeah, I, don't, I don't know. This is my first experience with, uh, with a Neotech. So I am learning as you are. So I wonder if this is just a bad that spring. Maybe we can rewind it. <clears throat> Maybe it could be rewound and uh, salvaged. If not, then I guess I'll have to contact Neotech China, whoever. And uh, I don't even know exactly how these work, to be honest with you. Looks like maybe it just wasn't wound right. Uh, I'll give it a couple winds and see if that'll. It's still not engaging it. Maybe that's supposed to be over that. Yeah, I don't know. I've never seen nothing like it before. Because when you uh, when you pull it, you know it catches the paws and turns it over. Of course, then the centrifugal force when it's starting slings them to the outside. That's what keeps it away from your um, from reengaging and away from your pull start. I don't know if maybe that one just wasn't. Uh, Oh, maybe if this one just wasn't crimped down good. I don't know. Could be a number of things. We'll do some more examining. We'll get back to you. Okay. So the spring on that uh, on the recoil was just messed up. I don't know if that's going to be a full time fixer. We'll have to revisit that. But anyway, so my overall feelings um you pay for what you get i mean that's just the i mean the simplest way to put it um if you were someone that just needed a little saw to do light trimming around your house and didn't want to put a fortune in one then it would probably be a, a good deal it's basically a replacement chainsaw or a disposable chainsaw you know it gets beat up banged up won't start in the bin and uh, buy another one. So it comes with the jug again, just to recap. Mixing jug, chain comes with a little box. It's a pretty nice chain actually. Comes with a little manual that's, um, yeah, it's as bad as quality as the saw. Um, comes with a file. It's a three, I think it's a three eighths low pro. That's I remember, whatever. Comes with a carb. Ranch, you will need that. A scrunch with a Phillips. Most everything on here is Phillips, which is just weird to me, but I guess it's the, the cheaper alternative. A couple of Allen wrenches. Allen wrenches seem to be actually pretty nice. 
So basically I bought um, two Allen wrenches from the scrunch and a file for a hundred bucks and got a free chainsaw. Um, <clears throat> funnel, yeah, I don't know what you use that for. I don't really use them, but I guess you could use it for something. Comes this handy dandy little pouch to put everything in. And of course the saw. Um, I think it's a 25 and something CC, 12 inch bar. Um, the chain on it does have the, the safety kickbacks. Still pretty sharp. What I was cutting was oak. Um, it's been down for about two years, year and a half, two years. Um, red oak, so, I mean, it's not not easy cutting wood. Muffler seems pretty free-flowing. I mean, it was it had a little pep to it, but it, there again for what it is. <clears throat> the furthest thing to take it off is there's a uh, screw inside your anti-vibe bolt under this little cap, and then the, the uh, Phillips screws five around the front, your um, idle screw, low, high, pretty self-explanatory there. Fuel oil, there again, is, that's also pretty self-explanatory. Oh, on and off switch. Just in defense of this saw earlier when I was starting it, I didn't even read in the book or think to check that the switch is an actual on and off. It's not a momentary like 99% of the other saws I deal with. So, um, just keep that in mind. It's it's an actual on and an off. It's not the, the momentary off and then it resets back to on. Like, there again, every other top handle. But this is the first Neotech slash China saw I've ever actually owned myself. Um, so, you know, in the future I might try to build it. I might tear it apart and just kind of see what it's all about. Um, the plastics on it, uh, there again, you pay for what you get. The choke, it's... I mean, it looks like something that eventually could get torn off, broken, bent. It's just in a, it's not in a good spot when you're cutting. You've got a lot of limbs and stuff that kind of hit this side if you're limbing with it or whatever. It's just not a good, a good spot or really a good design. It just really sticks up. So I might cut this tab off or something or 3D print something that's more of a, a, a flusher design. Flusher. <laughs> more low profile design um, to get a better... But I bought it just really to, <clears throat> to test. I was curious. Um, there again, when I bought it, I think it was a sale. It was right at 100 bucks. Um, I think um, Indiana Doug's website, or I, I, I'm not sure how he, um, Doug, Indiana Doug, don't get mad at me. I'm, I don't want to mess you up here. I'm not sure what involvement you have, but um, I just seen it. It may have been on your Facebook page or, or come over Facebook or something, and I ordered it before. Well before Christmas and finally got it today. Um, apparently the train derailment, or what the UPS said, the trail, the train, a trail, a train derailment was the cause of it um, taking so long. So, you know, I, the box wasn't beat up, so I don't know. I mean, was it on the train or was it just an excuse to be late? Uh, more than likely that little spring in the starter right now, it's fixed. Um, you know, it'll pull. Or the, or the pause engaged, but I got a feeling that's going to be a uh, ongoing problem with this saw. But overall, you know, for, there again, for the money um, and for its probably intended use, it's, um, you know, it's a $100 chainsaw. Um, this pull handle, I'm definitely going to change it just because it, it sucks. Um, it's really small. Um, I got bigger hands. These edges because it's so small you're putting a lot of force on a small area in your hand and these edges kind of cut into your hand i know it sounds silly if you're wearing gloves it wouldn't matter but you know i can't do anything with gloves on it drives me crazy to wear gloves i mean i try to but it i just i don't have very good dexterity with gloves on especially when you're trying to tune and tinker and whatever i did try to <clears throat> have to um tune the carbon on this one um out of the box it would run but not good but you know it does clearly say 25 to 1 and i run everything 40 to 1 um all my work you know all my work saws um 90 octane at least 90 or above non-ethanol and i use uh a red armor oil not that that's the best or the worst but it, you know it's it's always worked good for me and and i recommend it um because it's always worked good you know and, and even in the built saws i recommend it so that's my that's my spiel. I mean, does it cut? Yes. Um, 
Is it worth hundred bucks? Yeah, I don't know. I'm still on the fence on that one. Um, I guess maybe. Um, would I use it for professional cutting? Probably not. Would it be a decent backup saw, or if somebody wanted to trim some hedges or bushes, and you know didn't want to go out and buy a three hundred dollar hedge clipper to chop down some bushes or, or whatever you're doing around your yard? Um, you know, then I guess it would be an alternative. But anyway, so I was just curious. We might do some more stuff with this saw later on down the road. Right now, I've got piles of builds. I'm backed up for, from Thanksgiving and Christmas breaks. And uh, we'll try to get some more build videos out. Um, now that we got internet, somewhat internet, finally got Starlink. Um, I'm real happy with it. Um, out here before where my shop is, it's at, it's at my house. In the, you know, we live in the country. So, um, like the country country, not like a suburb, like the country. Um, a lot of people get that confused. It's not familiar with that term like I know it. Um, so we we did not have access. Like you literally couldn't get it. Like it wasn't here. I've tried for seven years to get high-speed internet or any internet for that matter and was unsuccessful. So I signed up for Starlink a few years ago. Um, they kept putting me off, putting me off because of COVID and then the the the, um, the war broke out and and all that jazz, and it's, it's Elon Musk is who owns Starlink, by the way, those of you who don't know. And uh, he sent everything that they had manufactured for the U.S. to Ukraine. So that pushed us back even further, but I'm on the, um, it's what they call the best effort. Basically like, hey, we see you've been signed up and we don't want to keep you upset, so we're going to give you something. It's not the fastest, but it is actual internet. And I actually can upload videos now with more content and more in-depth Um you know, I think my channel suffered because of that. I couldn't really go in depth. A lot of people don't like in depth stuff. Some things you can get by with doing, some things um, you can't. But anyway, so that's my little spiel. Again, Neotech 2500. I'm guessing this, I, I hadn't really looked the specs there again. I've seen it online on sale, 100 bucks right at, ordered it. Didn't, you know, what you, what I know right now and what you know is really all I know. So um, we'll dig more into it maybe down the road <clears throat> as time goes on. Um, but I was just uh, just curious more or less, you know, how, how does it stand up to the uh, the more pro saws that um, Echo, Husqvarna, and Steel, Steel make. So, but anyway, um, like and subscribe. It really helps out the channel. Um, I also have a Facebook uh, page also, 417 Saw Shop. If any of y'all like to, uh, and also have a forum on there too, if all y'all would any like to be a part of that, um, it would really help out. And you might learn something, or you might could learn me something. So I'm all open for for learning. But uh, that's how we make this a uh, a better channel and, and a and a better experience for everybody to share our th thoughts and feelings. And uh, you know, maybe we can all learn a little something. You know, save somebody a little headache if they're looking for something you know, reliable saw for, for their everyday chores. I'm not sure this will be the one. Um, time will tell. There again, I just did a little testing out of the box kind of deal. But uh, but who knows? But anyway, appreciate y'all for stopping in. Hope you have a good new year. Um, and uh, we'll see you on the next one.